chapter, Iwe do not know where Bikfola came from, nor do we know for certain where she went to. We do not even know her real name, for the name Bikfola, Dawalas or Small Dawad, was given to her as a nickname. This only is certain, that she disappeared from the world we know of, and that she went to a realm where even conjecture may not follow her. It happened in the days when Dermot, son of the famous A of Slain, was monarch of all Ireland. He was unmarried, but he had many foster sons, princes from the four provinces, who were sent by their fathers as tokens of loyalty and affection to the Ardry, and his duties as a foster father were righteously acquitted. Among the young princes of his household there was one, Cranthan, son of Ah, king of Leinster, whom the high king preferred to the others over whom he held fatherly sway. Nor was this wonderful, for the lad loved him also, and was as eager and intelligent and modest as becomes a prince. The high king and Cranthan would often set out from Tara to hunt and hawk, sometimes unaccompanied even by a servant, and on these excursions the king imparted to his foster son his own wide knowledge of forest craft and advised him generally as to the bearing and duties of a prince, the conduct of the court, and the care of a people. Dermot Mackay delighted in these solitary adventures, and when he could steal a day from policy and affairs he would send word privily to Crimethan. The boy, having donned his hunting gear, would join the king at a place arranged between them, and then they ranged abroad, as chance might direct. On one of these adventures, as they searched a flooded river to find the ford, they saw a solitary woman in a chariot driving from the west. I wonder what that means? The king exclaimed thoughtfully. Why should you wonder at a woman in a chariot? His companion inquired, for Crimethan loved and would have knowledge. Dot good, my treasure, Dermot answered, our minds are astonished when we see a woman able to drive a cow to pasture, for it has always seemed to us that they do not drive well. Crimethan absorbed instruction like a sponge and digested it as rapidly. I think that is justly said, he agreed. But, Dermot continued, when we see a woman driving a chariot of two horses, then we are amazed indeed. When the machinery of anything is explained to us we grow interested, and Crimethan became, by instruction, as astonished as the king was. In good truth, said he, the woman is driving two horses. Had you not observed it before? His master asked with kindly malice. I had observed but not noticed the young man admitted. Further, said the king, surmise is aroused in us when we discover a woman far from the house, for you will have both observed and noticed that women are home dwellers, and that a house without a woman or a woman without a house are imperfect objects, and although they be but half observed, they are noticed on the double. Dot there is no doubting it, the prince answered from a knitted and thought tormented brow. We shall ask this woman for information about herself, said the king decidedly. Let us do so, his ward agreed the king's majesty uses the words we and us when referring to the king's majesty, said Dermod, but princes who do not yet rule territories must use another form of speech when referring to themselves. I am very thoughtless, said Crimethan humbly. The king kissed him on both cheeks. Indeed, my dear heart and my son, we are not scolding you, but you must try not to look so terribly thoughtful when you think. It is part of the art of a ruler. I shall never master that hard art, lamented his fosterling. We must all master it, Dermod replied. We may think with our minds and with our tongues, but we should never think with our noses and with our eyebrows. Dot the woman in the chariot had drawn nigh to the ford by which they were standing, and, without pause, she swung her steeds into the shallows and came across the river in a tumult of foam and spray. Does she not drive well? cried Crimethan admiringly. When you are older, the king counseled him. You will admire that which is truly admirable, for although the driving is good the lady is better. He continued with enthusiasm. She is in truth a wonder of the world and an endless delight to the eye. She was all that and more, and, as she took the horses through the river and lifted them up the bank, her flying hair and parted lips and all the young strength and grace of her body went into the king's eye and could not easily come out again. Nevertheless, it was upon his ward that the lady's gaze rested and if the king could scarcely look away from her, she could, but only with an equal effort, look away from Crimethan. Halt there! cried the king. Who should I halt for? The lady demanded, halting all the same, as is the manner of women, who rebel against command and yet receive it. Dot halt for Dermod. There are Dermods and, 